Bushes make a return in Animal Crossing New Horizons as part of the 1.2.0 April update and remain somewhat unchanged from New Leaf but with a couple of big improvements. Hello there, my name is Dazbound and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about bushes in Animal Crossing New Horizons from obtaining them to growth stages, limitations and bloom dates. So let's get stuck in. Bushes are essentially part flower and part tree. They grow quicker and more freely than trees but cannot be walked through like flowers can. You can also use the shovel to pick up a bush at any point of its growth stages to move it without destroying the plant and without needing any fruit power. To obtain bushes, you'll need to wait for Leaf the Sloth to visit your island's plaza where he will always stock two species of bush starters. The bushes that he will sell you will set you back 280 bells per start or 1400 bells for a bunch of five. He will always have the species that is currently blooming in stock as well as one random species. Bushes do not need watering to grow and cannot crossbreed or produce more bushes. They have three different growth stages and when in season they will start to bloom on the first day of full growth and then be fully bloomed on the second. Now this is where bushes have become much more flexible than in New Leaf as you can plant these almost anywhere on your island and they will still grow. Gone are the days of the 12 in a line limitation and bushes can grow on any shovelable terrain grass, dirt and sand, but not on the beach. Whilst you can plant the starters on the beach, much like with flowers, they will refuse to grow until you move them elsewhere, and you can't move a bush that started to grow onto the beach, just like with hardwood, cedar or fruit trees. However, they can grow directly next to other bushes, trees, furniture, ramps, water, the tops and bottoms of cliffs, fences, ledges at the beach, and also buildings, which with the exception of fences are all places that you cannot grow or plant trees. There are currently six bushes available in the game and all but the holly bushes have two different colours. Unlike in New Leaf, there is no overlap in bloom dates so only one species of bush will ever be in flower at any one time. I personally don't think it's likely that any new species will be added in the future updates but then I didn't think that they'd be added in the first place so I could be wrong. One thing that I'm not wrong about though are the dates that each species will be in bloom. There's a bit of misinformation out there thanks to uh, a few images stating incorrect and very vague dates. So I went through and I got all of the exact dates, keep your eye on the bottom left corner for the date in game, that each type of bush will be in bloom for and they are as followed for islands in the northern hemisphere. Pink and red camellias, January 1st until March 31st. Then there's a break of 10 days for cherry blossom season where there is no bush in bloom. Then the white and pink azaleas bloom April 11th until May 31st. Blue and pink hydrangeas June 1st until July 20th. Red and yellow hibiscus July 21st until September 20th. Orange and yellow tea olives September 21st until October 31st. And holly bushes November 1st until December 31st. For Southern Hemisphere Islands, simply add or subtract 6 months. I've created an infographic with these correct dates on them which you can see on screen now and I'll post a link to it in the description for you to refer back to without having to watch the video over and over again. Of course, feel free to share this image and not the incorrect ones because misinformation kinda sucks. And just like that I think we're done, I'm pretty sure I covered all of the bases here but feel free to post your questions in the comment section below or any additional information that I may have missed. If this video helped you out in any way then feel free to give the video a like, that would definitely help me out, and maybe consider subscribing to be notified when I post any more Animal Crossing New Horizons guides and playthrough videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.